Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. I am here with one of my reborn babies. She's so cute. And today I wanted to do a little bit of a different type of video. If you guys are new to this channel or new to the reborn community, you guys know how expensive reborn babies are. And there are different price points on reborns. They can be two to $300, which if you haven't been part of um, purchasing reborns before you think, oh my gosh, two to $300 for a doll, that's insane. But if you've been a part of it for a while, you realize that's kind of on the lower end of really good quality reborns. I remember when Bella and I were first looking at reborn babies, we first started looking on eBay and I remember thinking, there's no way I'm spending that much money on a doll. However, once you get one, the first doll we bought was a couple of hundred dollars and I got her and of course she was cute to me and she was very realistic in my opinion at the time. But as I started collecting more, you realize the different levels of the artist, you realize the different level of skill, and you realize that you end up paying a lot more for the babies that in my opinion look a lot more realistic so we have been buying reborns and selling reborns until we have come to a place now where i think we are really in love with the collection that we have with that being said i'm always trying to think of a way to be thrifty and always thinking of a way you know to be able to purchase this these dolls for our hobby without you know basically spending a whole lot of money so in our opinion, what we've done is we've come up with a way that I'm sure a lot of you are aware of, but I wanted to do a video of today on the ways that we save money on certain things so we can afford um, more of the expensive dolls. One way we have done that is to buy pre-loved reborns. Now, not all of our reborns that we have did we buy used, um, but some of them we did and we still love them the same and of course they're new to us so they're basically like new just not brand new for example the little harper kid i have always seen her in videos and i've always thought she was so cute um, but they were so expensive especially if you have them custom made so i'm always for the hunt on the hunt to find dolls that <clears throat> i just really love but you know possibly They've been in somebody's collection for a while and they're ready to change it or they're not bonding with that baby anymore. So I love to be able to get reborns like that. So this one, this is the Harper kit. I believe we paid, I want to say like 400 bucks for her, which is still for a doll, very expensive, but for a reborn, she's really not. And we have loved having her a part of our collection. Same goes for this little girl. She was actually not brand new when we got her and i did buy one custom made of her of this kit and i just wasn't super happy with how she turned out so i was looking on um, i believe i did find her on ebay and i'm not kidding i looked for like nine months for one and i got her very inexpensively i think she was like 400 as well and i love her so much she's been just so perfect and I love everything about her. So if you are just starting out on collecting Reborns, that might be an option to buy dolls that have been pre-loved by someone else. And so that's kind of what we did to start off with. And I've been really happy, happy with that. All right, so next I'll talk about the accessories for your Reborn babies. You can go to Carter's or you can go somewhere and buy brand new things or you can buy them pre-owned and i save a lot of money by buying um doll clothes and accessories that are pre-owned um either at a thrift store or there's a little store close to us called once upon a child we actually just went the other day so i'll show you guys some examples of what i mean so um this little outfit is super cute it's actually Carter's newborn and I will wash it and iron it so it looks fairly new. Um, but I only paid $4.50 for it, which is a lot cheaper than buying it brand new. So this is one way that I save some money by buying used baby clothes. And if they're in good condition and they're not stained and stuff like that, it's perfect. This one was actually brand new. It still had the tag on it from Carter's and it was regularly $24 dollars and I got this for just two or three dollars 
And then at a thrift store, this little outfit I actually paid $1.08 for. And it's actually a Carter's outfit, a little boy outfit. It's a little overall short outfit. And it looks brand new. I mean, it's like in perfect condition. So that is one way we try to save money. I also found this little cute organizer at a thrift store. Um, I think it was Goodwill, but it has little dividers in it. Let me take this out. And um, you can organize little diapers or clothes or whatever you wanted into it. And this one I got for $2.22. So this is a way to build up your nursery to make it really cute, but you don't have to buy everything brand new. You can get them, you know, used really reasonable prices. Um, I also got this little package of um, diapers and wipes and it was 66 cents at Goodwill. So I always, if I see a good deal like that, I always try to pick something like that up. Also, as far as um, when we do our uh, videos with role play, I like to use Real Formula. And this one I found for $4.74, and it's actually expired formula. So I don't have to use like brand new formula that would, you know, a baby could use. Um, but this looks like one of those kits that you get when you're pregnant and they send you samples. I've got two brand new formula bottles that I can use for role playing. And, you know, obviously it's not full price like you would at Walmart or something like that. So those are some things you can do to save money. I also like to repurpose used furniture for my nursery. So this little diaper a changing table I got at Goodwill for like less than $10 and it was really gross and all beat up but I was able to paint it and make it look brand new. Um, the only thing that I have bought brand new is this little crib and I got it off of Amazon but everything else in my nursery I have bought at um, a secondhand store or a thrift store and fixed it up Same really goes with this little bassinet it was really dark cherry wood um, and we just kilsed it and painted it and it's really cute um, and then of course this little high chair here we got it used at um, once upon a child and i believe it was under ten dollars oh wait it still has this tag on it no it doesn't um but yeah i think it was like ten dollars or so so i've been able to fix up my nursery very inexpensively all the little accessories like that little pony and all those little toys that are in the little bassinet or the little basket, I've bought bundled up, used from a, you know, a Goodwill. So those are fun things you can use and you don't have to pay full price for them. So I wanted to show you, I have a whole bunch of clothes in here that I'm actually going to be donating um, to Once Upon a Child and they'll actually pay you money for these. So. What I do is if I have outfits that I've already changed them into in videos or I just don't care for it anymore, or sometimes you get a bunch of clothes with a box opening that you know, you're like, oh, that's cute, but I really wouldn't use it. I sell those to Once Upon a Child and I actually get money back for it. So I can use that money to buy things that I really like. So this is a big bag that I'm going to be taking off this week and then I'll be able to buy like spring clothes for videos. And lastly, if you have a reborn doll, since they are very expensive, that you don't find yourself changing a lot, or you don't feel like you bond with it very much, sell it. Um, there's a lot of people like me, or maybe like you, that would love to buy that reborn baby. Two really good apps that you can go to to buy used reborns are eBay, of course, and they do sell new ones there as well or you can go to an app called Mercari. It's M-E-R-C-A-R-I, I believe. And they actually sell new ones as well, but they do sell a lot of used reborns. So um, those are places that you can sell and purchase new babies. Um, sometimes to me, it's safer to buy a baby that's already been made so you can see all of its details versus having one custom because I have actually done that twice and I've been kind of disappointed with how they turn out. So I like to actually see what they look like before I get them instead of waiting, you know, sometimes six to eight weeks 
and they either don't send them or they don't like anything what you wanted. All right guys, well I hope this video helped. I hope I was not just rambling and you understood what I was trying to say the whole time. Um, but yeah, these are just things that we do to help save money on other things where we can spend more money on our reborn babies. And yeah, so let me know if this video was helpful and if you have any other tips on saving money for reborns, leave those in the comments below so that we can all see it as a community. And we'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.